Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine if you're new here. Today we're trying the new Red Beauty Set in Powders. I'm excited to try these so stay tuned to see my thoughts on the powder. I'm gonna start with the Glowy Makeup Base from Laneige. I actually want to try this powder over makeup like I normally would because it is a set in powder but I also do kind of want to see what it would look like just on its own. I typically don't wear set in powders on their own but I still want to see what it looks like just because it's a little tinted I thought maybe you know we can get a little bit of coverage so I'll show you guys what it looks like I do have three shades we're gonna use this shade right here this is the packaging and I'm gonna use the shade true caramel which I think is the closest to my complexion out of the three that they sent over and this is what it looks like this is the shade true caramel I'm gonna use a powder brush and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheek So this is kind of what it looks like with the powder brush. This shade is definitely a little bit too cool tone for me. I can see like some redness. They did also send over a little pouch with a powder puff. So I wanted to try the powder with this as well. Okay, let's just apply with the puff. Oh, you get so much more coverage. It's definitely not like a foundation level amount of coverage, but it's a lot more than when you use a brush. I don't know if you guys can see like right here. Oh, okay. This color actually isn't bad. Okay, so we're applying the powder with the powder puff to my cheeks so you can see what that would look like without any other makeup. Hmm. It's actually given quite a good amount of coverage. I was not expecting so much coverage from the from the powder. I didn't think it would be so much coverage. This looks good. It's definitely giving my skin but better. I want to put some on my forehead as well so you guys can see maybe just my forehead. This shade is a little bit on the cool side in terms of undertone and I typically like going for a more neutral. I do want to try the shade Honey because it does have a neutral undertone. I think it's a couple shades below this one but it has a neutral undertone so I definitely want to try that shade because I can see the you know the little hints of um, red with this shade but the powder in general looks really good. I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna finish off my face with this. I figure we'll just do a powder base. This is actually a good trick for severely oily skin. And it's really hot today. It's literally like 100 degrees outside, which is crazy. We're gonna focus on just how it looks besides the color because like I said, I think I need the shade Honey for this powder instead of True Caramel. I have the little booklet here and True Caramel is a medium deep with cool undertones. Honey is a medium deep with neutral gold undertones. I think that's the one that I need. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'm also gonna set with this powder to see what it looks like as a overall finishing powder. Let's get into the specs on this powder. It is a weightless tinted powder. It's supposed to blur the skin, reduce shine. It does come in 14 shades, which I saw some people kind of like complaining about that, but it's a set in powder. Typically set in powders don't have a ton of shades to choose from because they're not necessarily meant to give a ton of coverage. For a set in powder, this definitely gives a good amount of coverage. I can see myself wearing this on its own, obviously in the right shade, but yeah, I think it gives a decent amount of coverage for a set in powder. The formula is also talc free and it gives a diffuse cloud effect. It says that it lets radiance shine through and layers seamlessly undetectable over bare skin or makeup. So you can wear this on bare skin like I did. This powder also claims to be non-comedogenic, which is great for acne prone skin. It's supposed to not clog the pores and to be very like light and I guess breathable on the skin. I'm gonna blend out my concealer. You know, I was gonna apply a liquid foundation, but I just realized that I don't need to. I just realized I don't need to. I think this looks good without a liquid foundation. I think the powder kind of acted like my base. 
So I think we're going to keep it like this once I blend this out. I think this would be a good setting powder for under the eyes as well, but since the shade is a little deeper, we're just going to use a loose powder and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty one to set under my eye. This one is in the pink cherry blossom cake shade. I did use my Brighten and Concealer today just to balance out the powder since the shade was a lot deeper and it definitely did the trick. I'm just gonna use the Benefit Brow Wax to fill up my brows. We're gonna do a little bronzer using the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I personally feel like this powder looks really good. It looks, it looks like I applied foundation and I really didn't. So I'm liking this. And even though this shade is a little deeper, I think using the lighter concealer definitely helped balance it out. I think one of the claims that I read is that it has a glow from within look, and I definitely can see that as well, which is really pretty. For blush, we're gonna use Joy from Rare Beauty, which is one of my favorite blushes. This lip liner is from the Lip Bar in the shade Straight Living. And then for my lips, I'm going to use one of these MAC lip... What are these called? The Squirt Plump and Gloss Stick in Simulation. So this is the final look. Honestly, I think this powder looks really good. Even with it not being the best match for me, I think it still looks pretty good. Just ignore my chest. My chest needs some sun. But I think it looks really nice and balanced with the concealer and my other like loose powder. I definitely love the finish of this powder. It looks like your skin but better. It looks very like flawless. It definitely layers really well. Certain powders can be pretty blotchy with a puff like this and just kind of cling to different parts of your skin. I feel like this definitely blended out really, really nicely. It looked really good. Like it looked skin-like. Fingers crossed the shade Honey works for me because I can definitely see myself wearing this over sunscreen as like an everyday powder. It's really effortless. It goes on really nicely and it gives a decent amount of coverage. If you saw when I applied it, it literally covered my dark spots pretty nicely for a set in powder so definitely wasn't expecting that i think it's a really nice powder don't mind the shade you know hmm, it's a little off but overall i think the powder is really nice let me know your thoughts on this powder so far what are you thinking if you'll be picking it up and if you want to see me try to shade honey stay tuned because i will be trying it maybe not in its own video but it'll definitely be in a different video in the near future so stay tuned i'll see you guys in my next video bye